Dear students, today we will discuss another very important concept of hashing and we will introduce you the traditional file structure and what are hash files in this module. So in the previous module, we have created an index and that index contain different addresses that have been maintained in a table that called index that which imply is stored at what particular address. So the disadvantage of index is that you need to maintain that table and that table need to be put into the mass storage. And whenever you want to traverse that file, that index need to be loaded into the main memory. So we want to get rid of this index and we want to invent something that the whatever the implied name ID we want to store into the, uh, for example, mass storage or drive. So that can be automatically computed that where it should store. So this can be done using hashing or this is done into the hash files. So what is hashing? Hashing is a technique that provides similar access without storing index as overhead. And instead of looking into the index, hashing identifies the location of the record directly from the key. So what does it mean? Suppose our addresses into the, for example, memory start from 1000 and suppose that every record which we are interested to store into the memory has 100 characters. So first record will be stored at location 1000, next record at 1100, next record at 1200. So this means we will make a function that whatever the record number we are interested to store into the drive we will add the seed 1000 address into it. So this means if we are interested to store, for example, 10th record, so that will be stored 10 multiplied by 100 plus 1000. So we will directly reach to that address immediately. So we do not need to wait or we do not need to store that thing into the address table. And we will be uh, having different examples of hashing in this module and into the next module as well. So what is hash system? The data storage space is divided into several sections called buckets. So this is one of the concept that we form small buckets of data storage and in each bucket we store multiple items. And whenever we want to store the record, one record, that record will find its particular bucket where it can be stored and within that bucket we will be learning, uh, we will be searching in a sequential manner. So what is hash function? The records are dispersed among the buckets according to an algorithm that converts key values into bucket numbers. So suppose we are again discussing the same example. So our starting address is 1000 in the end to the drive and our bucket size is, for example, 500. So first bucket is of 500, next bucket is 500, next bucket is 500. So whatever record we want to store, we will make such a function, hashing function, which will identify that in which bucket it will be stored. And in that bucket, where is the space available, we will store after that particular loss address where it was stored, the loss record. So hash files versus hash functions. When hashing is applied to a storage structure in mass storage, it called a hash file. And when applied to storage structure within the main memory, then we call it hash table. So let's summarize today's module. We have learned a little bit about hashing, why we need hashing, what are the disadvantages of indexes, and what are hash functions, hash files, and hash tables. And in the next module, we will be discussing further examples of actually and reality applying how hashing can be applied and how hash files can be created.